Well, today's vlog might feel just a pinch different because I feel just a pinch difference, if that's what you could say. I am starting my week with just crap everywhere. I This kind of stuff makes me crazy, but I don't have a choice. I just got back from New York. We had a nice relaxing Sunday. I could have done all this on Sunday, but then I just wouldn't have had that time to spend with my family. And when you're trying to find that balance, yeah, more not, okay. There is zero balance what's in there, okay. <laughs> um, I am going to be gone all of today because I am meeting my, um, I am meeting my manager that's coming in from LA and we've got a lot to just sit down and kind of game plan for the next little while with Bali, with Bonnie Helene and, uh, and I don't even know really what we're talking about. He's just like, we need to talk. And so it's kind of a little nerve wracking, <laughs> but at least I'll have my sisters there. So he's wanting to talk to all of us sisters, which could potentially be a really great thing because we, it was kind of like, duh, we haven't done anything together. We're collaborating with all these brands, but we would really like to collaborate with each other. So I have to get up and get ready. I tried doing that before the kids got up. The kids haven't even been up yet. So this is the part of the family room that I did, however, really want to make sure was picked up so that in the morning we could at least have one area that was peaceful. I feel like I have so much on my mind and I feel like I have not connected with you guys for a while. And it's hard because when I'm struggling, I don't like to vlog. Um, one, cause it's like, you, you can't be creative. You can't be like witty and, and I don't feel any of those things right now. <laughs> um, I'll just kind of like start with the things that I'm struggling with, but I don't want this to be like, oh, poor me. I want this to be like, hey, I just picked up the phone and I'm like calling my friends. <laughs> so that's kind of how I'm feeling it. Um, one, I went to bed last night and Joel was like, what is the matter? And I was looking for photographers. And when you're looking at photographers feeds, you're seeing all their pictures and all these things. And one, I'm having a really hard time finding a photographer that will shoot products. So in Utah, there's an, oh, a, a lim limitless a list of photographers that will do weddings and photo family and babies but it's kind of hard finding someone that will shoot product shots um, that has a lot of experience that's creative because I don't want that creativeness to have to come from me I want the photographer to kind of take over in that category um, and so I have a few potentials on the list and I was talking to um, a model friend of mine and um, and I, she had given me a whole bunch of um, information on photographers and then I just said, and I just felt impressed too, I just said, I just wanted to let you know that I think you are one of the most beautiful people and you might not have this huge following but you're doing more with your, you know, 10,000 followers than I am with my 300 and it's really inspiring and um, that kind of weighs heavy on a person. I don't know if like maybe you've ever thought of it that way, but oh, I try to do good. I try to put good out. I also am just trying to be really true to myself. I don't want to all of a sudden, you know, oh, I have these followers and now I'm going to change up my entire content, the whole reason why they're following me. And, but then I also don't want to be boring and do the same thing over and over. So I'm just really trying to find a balance right there. And I think that pressure is, is high in me right now. Anyway, the photographer or the model was like, that is exactly what I needed to hear tonight. She's like, you have no idea. And she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous and she's struggling with feeling pretty. And I was like, I'm going to try and not jump on that bandwagon, but I'm kind of feeling the same way. Um, it's really hard not having um, my smile 100% and I know I'm supposed to be patient and this is where Joel and I were fighting last night is because he's like what's the matter and I was like well I'm just you know I really would love my face back I would really love for this swelling to go away and for this pitting to go away and and then he just got really mad and he's like it's because you're not being patient you're not being patient you're the most impatient person I know <laughs> I know 
and anyway and so I was just like that's not what I wanted to hear that's not what I need to hear right now like just go to bed so he went to bed I went to bed we don't ever go to bed at different bedtimes never so I felt kind of sad last night that way and he's gone this morning and we both have like a full full day's work um and I really want to get this curly hair tutorial up for you <laughs> so I'm gonna try and film that this morning if I can stop crying um it's such like a bittersweet thing and I know I'm just rambling but I just want to kind of give you insight to like where I'm coming from I love I love my job so much and yes it felt so product heavy at the beginning and the end of this month it was Black Friday this was our first Black Friday that we had product and so we were kind of trying to follow suit with what all everyone else does and do these big like giveaways and big sales and and it was successful we had we had more sales that we could than we could keep up with and um it was really great like I felt really successful in that way but as I was posting like sale after sale it just made me feel like almost yucky like I was like I don't want to do this like I hope they know that that I'm still here that I'm still behind the sales and anyway and so for the whole month of December I canceled all of my brand deals even though like I was really excited for that money to come in and I'll tell you why I was excited for the money to come in um Joel and I um kind of been talking about being on a spending fast um for like good reasons we we've had some lofty goals for ourselves and Joel and I have been able to meet those goals and um, we've had some really high goals for the kids and uh, this year this is a good cry <laughs> this year we were able to um, put the money away for the kids that that I've wanted to do for so long and I am it makes me just so proud of them and it makes me proud of um, Joel and I that we have these like goals and that we're meeting them so I'm really proud that we've got some stuff set up for the kids that will help set them up long term um that's what Joel and I's biggest concern has been is like our retirement um and so we've really been able to do what we've wanted to do in that area and for the kids and so I just I am over the moon for that but that also puts us behind with like saving up money for a house fund and obviously retirement's more important I am very grateful for my home. I love my home, but I also would really love a bigger place to have people over for dinner when my table max can have two more people on it, <laughs> two or three more people on it. And so that doesn't leave me room to allow, you know, people to come into our home and, um, and to, you know, have parties here. And that's like what I really would love to do. Um, we are very limited on the angles and the way we can take pictures here to make them look not scrunched and that doesn't sound very important and truly in the long scheme of things it isn't which is why we haven't done anything about it but it just makes work a little harder um sometimes we feel a little cramped up in here i believe you can raise a 12 kid family in a one room house you can do it there's ways of doing it our grandparents did it and so obviously it's possible but when you're trying to grow a business you just you want the tools that you need and a, a bigger space would be one of those tools that would be very beneficial to help us do our jobs a little better but that's another goal <laughs> And Joel and I don't see eye to eye on that either. So I would love to build right now. And Joel is like, no, we need investment properties so that in, you know, 20 years we can get them paid off. And then we have another source of income coming in. And oh my gosh, that's all he wants to do. He just wants to remodel a huge old house. And it's <laughs> so, but I'm truly letting Joel just kind of not take the reins. We're making these decisions together, but it's stressful. <laughs> um Bali in and of itself we actually just found um a social media manager and I think she's going to be wonderful right now we're just in search of a really great photographer and I'm going to tell you the things that I'm looking for in a photographer someone that's super creative that's going to 
pick out areas, kind of look at what we want in our feed, the way we want our feed to look, and to really conform to that. And then light, bright, super clean pictures. In for some reason, the Utah like fad is really heavy filter um, and not such clear pictures. They're almost like blurry a little bit. And what? Kind of. I mean, that's kind of the fad, and I really don't want that look, and so it's been hard to find a photographer. So if you know anyone um, that might fit in this category, and this by me, when I did a video about not having a social media manager, that's how I found the girl I have now. She watched the vlog and was like, that's me. I'm graduating with a marketing degree, um, blah, 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 and it was really good. Um, so, if you know anyone, if this is you, please email me. I'll leave my email in the description below for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where I am. I didn't want to just do like a regular vlog today. I wanted to just sit down and I don't know, just update you on how I'm like coping with things because it's the only way that I really can connect with you guys on a more personal level now where there isn't comments on YouTube. I have been more active in my DMs on um, Instagram than I ever have, which can be a good and bad thing because maybe people think that when they send DMs to my Instagram that I don't get them or that I'm not a real person and so that can be really discouraging sometimes. But the ones that do send really good stuff it's really it's been really fun and I feel like I've created better relationships in that area and um, anyway so I reply a lot to comments on my Instagram now <laughs> Brie gets here to help me film a video at 9 it is now almost 7 which that doesn't leave me a lot of time to get ready and to spend time with the kids so I'm going to try and hurry and get dressed and have my makeup on by the time they go to school which leaves me kind of ignoring them while they're getting ready for school, but we'll all just get ready together. It's fine. I appreciate having an outlet where I can just vent, and I do, I feel a little bit better right now. Ellie and I have a two and a half hour drive to get to where we're going to meet my manager, and so in that two and a half hour drive, we will um, get some work done that needs to get done. Um, so that's good, we usually work in the mornings and since I have this video to film, we won't be able to do that. So anyway, I'm hoping that I just get all the things done that I need to today and then I'm going to make sure that I am getting to bed at a good time and then I'm eating better. And that's been hard because it's very important to me that I eat healthy, but I'm stressed and that's what got me into the mess in the first place was stress eating and so I, it's all I wanna do, it's weird. I've been eating really well but I have all these super strong cravings and it's killing me. It's just absolutely killing me and it trips me out because my face is still swollen which is so stressful to me. I mean it's, it's um, it, it kills me um, that I can see just how round I am but it, so it makes me think in my mind, oh, I'm gaining weight, but then the thought of gaining weight after going through so many surgeries is like, I can hardly like even think about that. And anyway, it's just this big mind game and it's really just swelling, it's not fat, and that's just been hard. So, and it's especially hard when, and the only reason I'm saying these type of words and these things are coming up is because that's the kind of stuff that gets DM'd to me. Just like pictures after pictures of when I was skinny, pictures and pictures of right after my surgery, and then my face now, and how big it looks now. And just, that can be um, da very daunting. Um, just the feeling of having to like justify myself and like justify myself to myself like is this true is this real like what's what is happening here and anyway so this has kind of gotten wild here at the end but i'm gonna go do my hair <laughs> like a rat okay <laughs> i'm sorry about today's vlog no i'm sure actually people really like hearing these kind of vlogs so i'm sure you actually enjoyed getting a little insight on what's going on with me so Anyway, this is what we got. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you tomorrow. I wanna close my eyes and go back, play it in my mind. A movie of us two, yeah, we were happy at the time. Can't remember what it felt like. We used to be so strong. That picture perfect sky now.